Uh, today I want to talk about how do you apply for a thousand dollars in AWS credits and get it. So when you're you know new to building on AWS, uh, personally I started cloud in February right, right now. So you want to build projects, uh, you want you know probably employers to actually be able to look at the projects, but AWS is very expensive. Uh, not very expensive. I mean sometimes it it can get expensive if you know you're using um, uh, everything things be uh, you know past free tier. So how do you get credits? Credits will help you to build. So today I want to talk about how to get a thousand dollars in credits on AWS. I think a thousand dollars is enough if you use it uh, sparingly. You can actually use it for two years and build actually meaningful projects. So how do you start? You just say AWS activate. So we're going to use activate, which helps you apply. Uh, activate basically helps you apply for you know credits. Um, you can apply as a startup for a thousand. Or you can apply as a you know a very you know a very big company, and you can get up to two hundred and fifty thousand in AWS credits. So it's up to you. So uh, you come to this. So you have to register for that. So this is not my account. So I'm using a friend's account because I want to uh, register for for her. Uh, let me spell them really right. Good. So next is a company email. You need a company email. Uh, so it means you're not going to use gmail.com just use a company email your company email so what are you going to do use a company email so for example now one thing about this uh it means you actually have to you know be have a company that is working because you are it's basically you're applying for a company now what i usually do is go on go and buy cheap domains on namecheap yeah this is namecheap uh namecheap is 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 uh i use namecheap you, you can use any hosting service that you have so personally i use namecheap so i can say i can say test test k00 anything uh just and then use use things like mm, you know cheap domains so cheap domains like dot x xyz or anything that makes sense so personally how about you use dot software or dot solutions uh software because you know you're basically applying as a as a company that actually is going to use this to train so something like that software will cost you like 598 uh, that comes up about to um maybe 1100 kenya shillings five dollars 98 cents and dot xyz will cost you how much uh let me see xyz xyz will cost you how much will a dot xyz domain cost you um let's see two dollars so that's two dollars will cost you now after that you need you after getting a domain you actually go configure email address there and then another thing is you you need to actually have a, a you know a website now you can see this is one of the domain that i bought it's called launchpadke.xyz this is another one i bought called embassies ict hub software yeah they're literally the same exact thing literally the same exact thing and so i literally just mock up very very quick quick things yeah because they need a website that actually works and in this website i'm doing something techy so that it needs to tell them yo i need credit so here i i I basically came up with this quick mock-up of something let's say oh our products what we do web development so that you know you have, need to explain to them that you need to actually use this so i did this a little bit so it's a mock-up of a website uh, it should actually help you convince them that you know you're actually going to use something you know so if they see you're going to do mobile app development training data analytics at least now it convinces them so this is exactly the same thing mock-up i just simply copy pasted it and then pasted it so after that so in this case um uh, let me see info. I'm going to use this. So I already used this. So let me use this embassy thing ish. Yeah. Let me let me use that uh that that thing that um uh, info. Alright. Uh, ah, sorry. At embassy. Mm. I don't know. One of my friends. One of my friends wanted that particular domain. So I basically bought it. Uh for that because they wanted that so when i'm done when i'm done actually getting credits i can give them that domain they can do whatever they want with it aha uh -huh. next is you're going to need your phone number mm, you're going to need your phone number and then linkedin profile which is optional you don't have to do that so you're going to put in a current role so um, for example current role you can't do anything i can just say software engineer yeah or you can say product manager and uh, then uh what is experience i can do two to five years are you one of the founders i'm going to say yes but say yes do you have a co-founder always do no because you don't want to give other details uh activate so what do you want to do um for example i can say i want to scale my customer base i want to retain my customers and i want to launch my product faster uh pick anything usually acquiring early customers is not always a good idea for me but that's okay you pick anything three things that you need so what are you going to do 
Um, for example, I'm going to pick uh, containers. Always AI usually gives you the edge on top of things. Uh, things like serverless and security always give you an edge. So you pick that. Mm -hmm. Uh, after that, your company name. So in this case, um, we put, pick this. So we're going to call it Embassies ICT. Mm. Your company is called Embassies ICT Hub. Mm -hmm. so that is the name. Let's just say that is the name. Um, blah 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 Kiambu. And then when was your company founded? Um, let's say it's a startup. So I'm going to say probably. Mm, mm, Hmm. Probably, uh, okay, probably um, March, March third. I'm going to do March third, yeah, because nobody's going to probably look at, at that. So, and then industry. So tech, obviously, it's it's a tech industry. So, it's something in tech. Um, IT. So, uh, Android app, analytics, aerospace application, architecture. So it's it's basically an IT, basically. So isn't. Mm-hmm. Computer content something data management data privatization. Um uh -huh. uh -huh. choose options. So choose options what you're going to be doing there. Uh-huh. What are you going to do? At AI let's say building can be augment with AI, you know AI. Uh, things so basically Bitcoin so you pick things that you need business applications aha uh -huh. those makes make an actual sense aha uh -huh. so number of employees so let's say in my business uh, we have uh, 25 to 60 employees and then go to next uh, so we're going to target consumers and then product stage so we're going to say products will scale now so they will uh, access through web browser mobile uh, we're going to use as, as well as APIs, yes? Um, then, yes, we are using ML to improve our products. Always say machine learning. So now we have actually, we are now registering. So yes, I'd like to share, nope, nope. So um, now we have registered for an for account. So after registering for an account, now you can apply for credits. So there are two tier options. We have the founders tier, uh, self-funded startups. This is for self-funded startups. And then this package for startups that are associated with an accelerator, incubator, venture capital, or other startup enabling. So if you're being funded by a venture capital or what, you can get up to $100,000 in US credits. If you're doing it yourself, um, you receive $1,000. $1,000 is what you're going to get. So that is what you're going to go with because that needs a lot of, lot of thinking. So we're going to apply and continue. Um, we need is asking for us to set multi-factor authentication. I haven't done that, so that we'll do later. So let's just continue. Um, now, tell us what you're building. Tell us what you're building. So what are we building in this case? Plan, uh, product, future update. So let's say, um, in this case, we want to launch in March. Let's say March thirteenth. Um, date, future or past? Um, January. So when is today? When is today? It's twenty third. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so Okay, my neighbors are playing some music in the background. Let's that not not I change anything. So uh -huh. um, So this is the most important part telling what you're building, but before we do that Let's go here. So we need a company company URL. So what do we do with the company URL? Let's come here and then sit down here Uh-huh, that is the company URL. So we're going to pick that and we're going to Play it here so that is the company URL okay so if you don't have a company URL if you have let's say something like um if you have uh, let's say Google I'm not sure if you have a um, Google uh, what do you call it uh, Google business page you can you can actually place that yeah so something like mm -hmm. do you have a company public profile so public profile whether it's on Facebook or business or anything that that, that would actually really work for you Aha, uh -huh. so what is your recent funding round? So in this case, I have no funding, no precede. Uh, valuation is we still have no valuation. Aha, uh -huh. optional. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's your percentage cloud-based uh, US spend? So in this case, we're going to do 100% spend on AWS, basically. Um, how much do you spend on placketing? Obviously, less than 250 grand. Okay, so now here, this is where you, it makes a break for you. So what are you going to be doing? So in this case, uh, I'm going to have to describe. So uh, let me see. Um, so 
basically this is a so i want to describe whatever we're going to be building so i'm saying um um our because it's it's basically a company that i've created that builds uh software for people and stuff like that yes so we're going to say that um we're trying um uh, our customers for example are moving um um our customers are moving are planning to move to the cloud so we're going to say uh uh recently um our clients our clients have started considering uh uh, considering the option of moving to the cloud to the cloud and to the cloud and and uh, so recently our customer clients have started considering the option of moving to the cloud and uh, we are currently in in stages uh we're currently let's see let's say we're currently starting um we're currently uh starting is it starting okay okay so it's it's weird a little bit so our clan so in the we're just saying our clients have started move, considering the option of moving to the cloud and we're currently um and we're currently being asked to assess assess uh, the cost and the advantages advantages uh, so we are planning on lift and sh we're planning on refactoring refactoring our client applications and test them on AWS to see advantages, to see to see the performance advantages uh, before we recommend full uh, deployment uh, deployment. So really our clients have started considering the option of moving to the cloud and we are currently being asked to assess the cost advantages. So we are planning on refactoring our client applications and test them on AWS to see performance advantages, uh, to see performance and uh, uh, technical advantages before we recommend full deployment to the cloud. So basically I'm saying that uh, because as a, as a person right here who, who, who is, you know, has an IT company or something, uh, who has an IT company or shit? Obviously, we just mocked this. This is something I mocked up in in about in about an hour. So I mocked this up in about an hour. So we're basically going to tell them, uh, oh, this it has it may be at three forty one. I forgot that it's need to be less than fifty. Uh huh. So we can say our clients. Uh, so three thirty three. Uh, okay. So our clients have started considering. Uh, our clients are. Let's say are considering. Let's let's shorten that. Our clients are considering the option of uh, considering. Let's say moving to the cloud. I'm considering moving to the cloud, uh, and we're currently and we're currently being asked. Uh, that's shitty English. We're currently assessing. Mm, currently, let's see assessing the costs advantages uh-huh so we are currently assessing the advantages the mm, currently assessing mm, the advantages let's say the advantages uh advantages uh advantages by advantages planning on factoring a client application testimony the best we're planning uh we are currently assessing the advantages so we are planning okay that is that that is unnecessarily bad english but it's okay our clients let's see uh, our clients are considering moving to the cloud and we are currently assessing uh, assessing the advantages advantages are uh, we assessing the advantages mm -hmm. Mm. 
we are refactoring our client applications. Advantages. Our uh, client application and testing just to see performance. Performance and technical advantages. full deployment ah, okay so our clients are considering moving to the cloud and we're currently assessing the advantages we're refactoring our cloud application and testing them in AWS to see performance technical before we recommend full deployment so basically that is what so that gave us to 250 so you have that limited 250 characters to describe what you're building and then you're uh, good so after that, now you submit your applications. Mm, we are going to sit here and we're going to submit our application. So once you're done, you're going to wait uh, up to up to 72 hours. But luckily, you can you should probably get it in two days. So it's Thursday. Uh, by Saturday, I should uh, have gotten a response uh, with a hundred a thousand dollars loaded inside inside my account. I hope this actually was very helpful. Otherwise, thank you.